Hey guys, it's Cherokee from Avid Productions 479 and today I'm going to tell you guys how to choose the right DOF adapter for you and how to really to use them. Now if you don't know what a DOF adapter is, a DOF adapter is basically something you put onto the front of any type of consumer grade camera that allows you to get that depth of field that most cinema cameras can get, you know, like the RED, you have the EX3, you have, you know, the Sony F3 that's about to come out. They're going to have these capabilities. Now if you're wanting to get almost that cinematic film look, you're going to have to have one of these DOF adapters. Now essentially what a DOF adapter is, is a small little unit that you place on top of your lens. Now mine has a little bit of duct tape on it, but I'm doing a little bit of engineering on mine to get it just right the way I really want it. Essentially what a DOF adapter is, is something you place on the front of the camera that allows you to get that really shallow depth of field like an actual film camera is able to produce. Now in order to get this, you're going to have to have certain types of lenses that I really like to use are these um, 28 millimeter 135. Now you're going to want, whenever you're choosing your lens, is to get a lens that has uh, the lowest f-stop possible. And I believe this one isn't the lowest one, but it works for me. But usually you're gonna wanna stick to around like a 1.4 f-stop in order to uh, really get the highest amount of light possible. You wanna get the quickest lens possible in order to get these DOF adapters to work properly. Now in order to get your DOF adapter to work properly, you're gonna to wanna to place it on the front of your lens on your camera. Now mine's a little different than most. Mine will actually go directly onto my lens because I have a 72 millimeter thread loop. So I can just pop this on top of mine whenever I want. Whenever you get it on, you're actually going to zoom all the way in to where you're getting the entire uh, 16 by nine frame or four by three frame filled with uh, that ground glass and focus in again on that ground glass. That's gonna give you the picture that you're going to want. That is the picture that is actually going to be seen in your 16 by nine viewfinder. Now, another accessory that I really, really would urge you to buy, it's, a, it's an LCD monitor. It's just another type of monitor that you can have externally on your camera. Now you can get these in RGB, a standard resolution, or you can get them in HD. Mine's just a standard resolution. Uh, the only reason I have mine is to actually flip the image from the DOF adapter so I know exactly what I'm looking at through the camera so I don't have to think about it in reverse terms. Highly urge you to get one of these because it's kind of difficult if you don't. Now that is one thing a DOF adapter kind of does. It does flip your image around to where it is reverse and upside down. So mirrored and upside down. It's kind of like, uh, I can't use this, but you can always go in and post and flip it up and down. It takes you know, a second to do it. Now, one other thing that I'd really like to stress is whenever you do buy a lens, get one of these little UV filters that will say it saves you the cost of a lens just in case you drop this, you're gonna break this filter instead of the actual lens. And then if you break your actual lens, you're gonna have to buy a completely new set of lenses. It's cheaper that way. I've gotten some amazing types of footage. I mean, just the cinematic tone and feel of these adapters make it really do make it worth it. And with the combinations of different types of settings for your cameras, it really, really makes it worth it. And that'll be on a different tutorial. All right, now some of the different types of uh, DOF adapters, you can make your own. I actually bought mine off eBay, um, but I've kind of had to be tweaking it, make sure it works with my camera correctly. But there are two of the main ones that I've been able to find that are probably the best. It actually flips your image for you because it has a different type of prism actually in the DOF adapter itself that flips the image so it comes in correctly into your camera. But the Red Rock, that is the one of the major ones. They also make uh, different little accessories for uh, the 70 Canon cameras. Another brand that uh, you also might want to check out is the Lettuce series DOF adapters. Now the Lettuce series, I actually really enjoy. They're really easy to work out and they also have back ring adapter which allows you to change some of the settings that are actually inside your DOF adapter automatically with just a flip of a uh, little just a twist of the ring. And those are the ones that I would recommend getting. I wouldn't really recommend building your own unless I mean you are on a budget which I'm on a budget. I'm pretty much a cheap filmmaker myself. Haha. <laughs> well anyway thanks for viewing my YouTube video. I hope it at least helped you out a little bit. I'm going to be making more YouTube videos. Look out because I'm uh, going to be doing some camera tutorials on how to get you know the different types of uh, images that I've been able to create throughout some of the music videos and some of like you know the terrible things videos and some of my DOF adapter videos. But make sure to check those out at www.youtube.com slash avidproductions. Also make sure to check me out on uh, Facebook at www.facebook.com Facebook.com slash avidproductions479. Make sure to hit the subscribe button and give me some comments. Tell me what you want to learn and I'll 
do my best to teach you as best as I can. But anyway, I'm Cherokee, and uh, I'll guys hope to see you next time.